It's time for Culture Shark. I'm Final Monkey. And I'm Caleb. I don't know about that intro. That was that was a weird one, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> uh, today, we are getting into the middle of July, the beginning of July, which means that we're going to have a lot of pre-recorded shows. Mm-hmm. We've got all kinds of vacations happening and, and other things. So uh, at least the next two weeks will be pre-recorded. We'll see after that. Uh, so today... We are going to try a a little game that I've made up. We're calling it Marvel Shuffle. And one of the things I love asking people is, oh, who's your 10 favorite Marvel characters? And you know, people rattle things off. Well, I don't know if that's an accurate test because we just ask somebody, <laughs> they don't really think about it, you know. So today we're gonna really think yeah. about it and force Caleb to really Yeah go through the mental gymnastics of who is his favorite Marvel character. I mean, it's the classic thing of like, you know, we can do a show where it's like, what's my 10 favorite. And then after we're done recording, I'm like, Oh, I forgot about this character. Um, It's a, it's like that episode of Seinfeld. Whenever George is like, that's what I should have said. Yeah. That jerk store called. Yeah. (laughs) The jerk store called. (laughs) I'm sleeping with your wife. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh that's one that's one of my favorite episodes oh yeah it's, it's great especially when people don't know what you're talking about you just got a jerk store called they're like what <laughs> jerk store called they're running out of you what does it matter you're their all-time bestseller <laughs> oh man it, is sign is seinfeld a part of that uh extended munch universe it's got to be right I, I would assume so I'm- yeah <laughs> well, I mean, they they had the, like those unofficial crossovers with friends and Mad About You, like where the power would get knocked out on one show and the power would be out in the other show and stuff. And yeah. So I'm sure they've had some type of crossover with friends, and then you know that just taps into a whole other thing. And yeah. So. Yeah. Um. And then that you know crossover with what curb your enthusiasm also. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm I mean that. That would be interesting is if it crosses over with Curb Your Enthusiasm, which in itself is uh, about Larry David's, like a fictional version of his life where he created Seinfeld. But then if Seinfeld is also in that universe, <laughs> uh, it, that's very, I can't wait for that show. That's going to be a fun one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to have to do a lot of research before that show. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and we're gonna go way down. That might be a series where we just go way down the. Yeah. <laughs> the, what was the, it uh, called? What was it called? The. Uh, was it Tommy something? Tommy. Universe? Tommy Universe. I don't. Some, some I don't know. It's saying elsewhere was the. Saying elsewhere, snow globe. It'll pop up. Let's see. Uh. That, it, it, Tom, if you don't. Tommy Westfall. Yeah, if you don't know, we're talking about the final episode of Saint Elsewhere reveals that the whole show is taking place in a snow globe, and that the an autistic kid is imagining every the whole show. Mm-hmm. But that show crossed over with a bunch of other shows, and those shows crossed over with other shows. So this little autistic kid is imagining every TV show you watch, basically. Yep, it's it's fascinating. So, <laughs> I'd I, you know what I'd actually love to. If I could, I'd want to connect it from from Saint Elsewhere, all the way to uh, um, like uh, uh, the Predator. Uh, I you you haven't seen it, but have you heard about it? The Predator, the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. What are you talking about? So, so the Predator is like the fourth movie. Uh, oh, oh, with the autistic kid in that one, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. So I'd, I'd love to figure out how we can connect those, so that way in this, in 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 this Tommy Westfall cinematic universe, <laughs> that autistic kids are like the gods. <laughs> of... <laughs> oh man, yeah, we, we should play a game like uh, what, Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, where it's Six Degrees <laughs> of Tommy. <you> know. <laughs> <laughs> um so uh because these are all pre-recorded first of all you know that we're real whenever we pre-record this and we keep all this in oh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but because these are all pre-recorded there's really not gonna be a whole lot of news because whatever it is uh it's not gonna be the most up-to-date 
Yeah, we've got a stack of news we want to get to, but we're probably gonna wait till we get to a live show. We might just do a whole news episode. Yeah, just another oh. one of our. Uh, I I'd I'd love to like make a segment where like I put on like a suit and tie and I come in like freaking Scott <laughs> Scott Reynolds or something. Yeah. <laughs> Is Scott, man, did I just make a Louisville joke? Is Scott yeah, Reynolds... I was like, the Scott Reynolds, that's a Louisville joke, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of a national anchor, but all I could think of was Scott Reynolds. <laughs> it was a Louisville anchor. Oh, man. So with Anderson Cooper. Or anybody, Anderson what? Cooper, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll <laughs> die, I'll, I will dye my hair uh, snow white. And... Oh, oh, man. And, and I'll be a puppet at a news desk on the, my end, yeah. <laughs> Oh um, man! Oh, it's just a weekend update. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be calling Colin Jost. Um, so Caleb, real quick, we're gonna keep these a little short this week. Uh, yeah. How was your weekend? Uh, it's or been your going. Week? <laughs> yeah, it's been going pretty good. And so this will be part one, and then part two. We won't have a weekend checking because you can just watch this one. Um, so it's been pretty good. Uh, because of Cape Crusader, um, which because WB um, is notorious a, with copyright yeah. strikes. Yeah, we might be able to like pull up some interesting stills and still talk about it. For the yeah, we could do episode. stills. I just yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, we're we're poking the bear, but we're not gonna poke uh, the 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 mama bear. I'm um, gonna go poke the Zaslov. We'll, yeah, we'll Zaslov alone. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I've been, uh, really getting back into just watching Batman stuff, uh, for those who don't know, and, uh, there, so I, I am, people know that I'm a big Star Wars fan. Um, a lot of people don't know how big of a Batman fan I am because that is one that, I don't know. I don't know why uh, people don't know me as a. I don't talk about as Batman as much, but I'm just as big of a Batman fan as I am uh, Star Wars. Like as as much as I know about the expanded universe of Star Wars is about as much as I know about the history of Batman and different Elseworld stories. Um, let's put it this way: Don't let me write Batman because if you let a fan write Batman, it's gonna suck. <laughs> so I am not the person to write Batman. Um, but I've been getting back into, uh, you know, watching some, uh, animated series, uh, and, um, been reading some, uh, Z uh Scott Snyder, uh, cause Scott Snyder is kind of what I grew up on, uh, that Tom King and, uh, um, Grant Morrison, Grant Morrison. Yeah. So uh, as Caleb as Caleb mentioned a little earlier, uh, this is kind of a two parter. We're recording both today, um, so we're going to play the Marvel game this episode, and the next episode, we're going to try doing some. I'd like Caleb react to some trailers I've already seen. Yeah. Um, and we talked about doing Cape Crusader, but we're just a little gun shy about Warner. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, plus, plus, I've already seen Cape Crusader trailer. Yeah. Um, so like I know what I want to talk about in that. Yeah. Um, but uh, one thing that really disappointed me in my kind of like caped crusade into uh, the Batman universe again is I've always prided myself on knowing everything there is to know about the Dark Knight because um, I've seen that movie well over 200 times and that's on purpose um, because whenever I was like 15 or 16, I was still homeschooled. And I didn't have a job at the time. I didn't get a job until I was 17. So I uh, I decided, I'm like, hey, I noticed uh, I noticed new things every time I watch this movie. Uh, what if I just watch this as many times as possible <laughs> to the point where I can, I know this movie front and back and I will never notice anything ever again. And so I did whenever I was about 16, uh, 15 or 16. And I was watching it today. Not not today. Uh, I was watching it this week, and I noticed something new. And I'm like, "Oh man, now I gotta watch this movie a bunch of times again because there are things that, and obviously there are things that I missed when I was 15 or 16." Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just like, so the thing that I noticed, 
Do you remember the scene where Bruce Wayne first meets Harvey Dent? Are we talking about uh, which movie are we talking about? Dark Knight. Dark, Dark Knight. Yes. I've only seen Dark Knight like once or twice, so I'm trying to remember. What? Okay, so it's the scene where they meet, where they meet in the restaurant, <laughs> and uh, uh. Uh, he, he brings the uh, prima ballerina from the Russian ballet as his date. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. It's the, it, it, it's 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 the scene where he says, "You either die a hero, you live long enough." It's like that scene. Okay. Um, one thing that I find very interesting is that ballerina is extremely smart. Yeah. You know, you know, you usually like, you know, you write, but you write, you write Bruce Wayne as kind of like a playboy, and he's always bringing around these bimbos and whatnot who are just like, you know, pretty arm pieces. But she is very smart. She's asking Harvey Dent all about like his policies as district attorney, mm -hmm. and I and I realized that Bruce did that on purpose. Because I always assumed, oh, he he's at that restaurant because he's stalking Rachel, uh, but no, he's actually stalking Dent, the new DA, and he doesn't want to seem too suspicious uh, for asking about his policies while still keeping up the DA stuff. So he brings along a very smart uh, date. So she'll to, ask the questions. So she'll ask the questions. Yeah, and so. Like I, there are things that I notice just like from like like frame by frame, because that's what I did whenever I was like sixteen. Mm. But now, but now that I'm older and I understand psychology and I understand uh, storytelling, mm -hmm. there's there's a lot that I'm not gonna recognize by watching The Dark Knight. So I going to be watching The Dark Knight a, a few more times because I've always prided myself on knowing everything there is to know about that movie, but now I know that I don't. So, mm -hmm. Well, I think I find it's... You can get fanatical about something, and I find it's good to take a break, oh, and yeah. then when you come back, you'll you'll find a new perspective on, on something. like 11 years. For, <laughs> yeah, for example, uh, uh, I used to love The Christmas Story. We'd watch it every year, and it just got to the point where it was on 24 hours a day. They're like, I hate the Christmas story. <laughs> you know, you're you're sick of it. And then if you wait a few years and revisit it, then you're like, oh, you know, I forgot this or this this place differently now that I'm, you know, an older parent or, you know, different things. So. So, yeah. And when you know what's funny, we've talked about this before. I don't like a Christmas story specifically because it's on 24 hours a day. Mm hmm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's Christmas probably... story was cool when it was on once a year. That's when it was cool when I was a kid. Yeah, but but at, at the same time, I'm sure like, um, for me, I you know my Christmas story is eight bit Christmas that was on Max a couple years ago, because uh, mm -hmm. it it's the same uh, it's the same concept. Mm -hmm. uh it's a different era different era yeah uh mm -hmm. did did you all watch that sure yep okay mm -hmm. uh did, did did you all uh never mind i'll, I'll ask that later i'll ask that later because that's okay. a, oh, whoops. yeah that that that's a that's a more personal question gotcha. that we know. <laughs> uh <clears throat> But uh, yeah, how about yourself? Like, you know, we, we can check in. What's going on? Sure. I had a extremely stressful month at work, week at work. So I decided I'm just going to play video games last night. Uh, busted out Excitebike 64 on the Nintendo Switch Online, and I could not beat the tutorial. And I got really mad at the tutorial. And so then I tried to play Dr. Mario, where I'd left off Dr. Mario 64 on a really hard level and the computer just keeps cheating so that made me mad and uh then i played uh metroid was a zero mission for a while and uh remembered how bad i suck at metroid so it was a fun night <laughs> now i was I, doing okay uh... at metroid i just uh, <laughs> you know they, they've changed some things to the game since i played on the nes I was expecting the giant centipede thing to bust out of the ceiling and attack me. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, 
the Switch Online does have the rewind feature, which I don't like using, but I did use it last night. I guess the Centipede, because I was just mad. I was like, I have whatever. I, I don't use the rewind feature, but I will use the quick save feature on, like, um, so I myself have been uh, doing Metroid. So Cameron and I, uh, what, what we're wanting to do is uh, we're uh, in lead up to uh, Prime Beyond. Uh, we're wanting to go through um, every Metroid game in release order. Maybe mm-hmm. make a little, uh, maybe make a little like a, a video log of our experiences and how we feel about it. So uh, Metroid doesn't have a save feature. It has the uh, password feature. Mm-hmm. And um, I just I don't feel like using the password feature, so I'll use the quick save feature uh, on OG Metroid. So, but yeah, um, the only time that I ever use uh, the rewind feature is uh, uh, whenever I'm practicing my speed running for like Super Mario World. Well, sure, that's that's um, different. Yeah, yeah. So. Cool. All right, let's get to our topic at hand here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to share a screen. It's just going to be a, a Google spreadsheet. Um, and what we're going to do is I have a list of uh, Marvel characters in alphabetical order. And I'm going to read these off to Caleb. And he is going to place them in order as I read them. What is going to happen is once he places something, it's locked. So he can't, you know, he can't put Spider-Man above Batman and decide, oh wait, no, Batman's better later on. Once he's once he's placed it, it's it's locked in there. But it won't be Spider-Man and Batman, right? It'll be right, just right. Marvel, just Marvel. These are gonna be, yeah, I was just doing a weird example. Uh these are Marvel superheroes. So no villains, just straight up no, Marvel superheroes. Okay. okay, no villains, gotcha. Um so, so I it, it, it what I do is I, I place one and then I, it's a higher or lower game, right? Like I'm not right, saying right, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's not like you say Daredevil and I'm like, oh man, do I put it at one or no. should I put it at no, two no, no, and no. save it for okay? The, gotcha. Just you just gonna keep adding to the list and putting it where you think it goes in the list. <laughs> You're not gonna put it, it'd be like if uh, I did a DC one for you and it was like uh uh. Uh, ambush bug and you're like I'm going to put that at 76 <laughs> yeah yeah no it's not going to be like that um, yeah and so I, I picked what I think is I was playing some Sporkle games the 300 most published Marvel characters and I whittled it down to like who I think is probably the 100 most popular Marvel heroes so okay. you ready okay. so we'll start out with uh, Adam Warlock Adam Warlock. Okay, yeah. So, so Adam Warlock. Uh, I'm not like okay. like that, that. That's just the baseline, right? Yep. So okay. Angel, Angel. So so Angel, Archangel, X Men, right? Yep. So higher or lower than Adam Warlock? Ooh, I'm gonna go lower. Okay. You know uh, you know what's, you know what's funny? I what? if you had asked me maybe like three years ago, it would have been different. That's the interesting thing. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> uh, Banshee. Banshee. Uh, Banshee is lower than Angel. Uh, Beast. Beast? Mm-hmm. Oh, that is higher than Angel, lower than Adam Warlock. Okay. Uh, and one thing we're going to do is we're going to see how different our... I've already done this for me, so we're going to see how different our lists are when we're done. I have, uh, I, have a, I have a question. So, did you do it in this exact order? Yes, I had Matthew uh, read me the list, and I did the exact same thing. So, just to give me some perspective, we're pretty much the same right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember where I put Banshee, but yeah, this is pretty close. Uh, uh, Bishop. Bishop. Uh, below Angel, above Banshee. Okay. And here's the other thing your brain will start doing. Like I start pairing characters together. <laughs> well, I'm like, oh, Luke Cage goes with Iron Fist, or you know, <laughs> so we'll, we'll see if you do that. Uh, uh, let's see, who did I say, Bishop? Uh, Black Bolt. Black Bolt. 
Uh, dog, you're gonna hate me, but I hate Black Bolt, so that's below Banshee. Yeah, I figured it would be. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, and here's what you're gonna figure out with me. Like, you'll be like, oh, you've got a lot of uh, these characters at the bottom. Well, I don't like the Avengers, so you know, you'll yeah. see my list. <laughs> <laughs> and and this, we're talking about the comic books here. We're not talking about the movies, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. my opinion of Iron Man is different if we're talking about comic books or movies. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Cat. Black Cat. Ooh, Black Cat. We're going to put above Beast below Adam Warlock. Okay. Black Panther. First of all, do you ever have immediate regret, but we're going to lock it? We're, we're locking it in? Yes, I had, <laughs> I had lots of regrets. I was like, wait, this list is wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, so, so, so Black Panther. Um, Black Panther. I'm going to put... You know, I'm going to put below Angel, above okay. Bishop. All right. Uh, who did I say? Black Panther. Okay. Um, Black Widow. Black Widow. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Now, we're talking about just comics, but we're not talking about just 616, right? Like, like, like Age of Apocalypse and stuff? When I think of Black Widow, or I... Or Ultimates, I, sure. I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if that's the case, that's gonna go uh, above Black Panther. Okay. Uh, below Angel. All right. By the way, my Angel. You know what's funny? You've actually changed my perspective on Angel so much because uh -huh. my Angel is Uncanny X Men or, or Uncanny X Force. Exactly. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Till that story, I did not care about Angel either. So, uh, Blade. Blade. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So here's the interesting thing, because we're talking about just comics, right? Right. Yep. Uh, Blade is going uh, below Banshee, above Black Bolt, because Blade movies are better than the Blade comic books. <laughs> exactly. That's what I had to think about. <laughs> yep. Uh, Blink. Blink. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, so Blink is the X Men who can teleport, right? Right, she was mostly in Age of Apocalypse and then Exiles. So I don't know right. if you've read a lot of her stories. I'm I am familiar. Uh, Blink is going to go above Black Bolt. So that's about as, as obscure as my list is going to get. Uh, mm -hmm. Blink, you know, there's a, there was like the like the last ten. I just kind of picked some that I thought were interesting. Uh, Cable, Cable, yo, Cable is going above Adam Warlock. Okay. Uh, Cannonball. Cannonball. Cannonball is gonna go uh below Bishop above Banshee. Below Bishop above Banshee. We said Cannonball. This is also a spelling test for me. To see if I can spell these <laughs> names. Uh, Captain America. Captain America. Captain America has to go above Black Cat, below Adam Warlock for me. Okay. Uh, Captain Britain. Captain Britain. Uh, Captain Britain. I'm gonna put. Uh, Captain Britain. I'm going to put below Black Widow, above Black Panther. Okay. Uh, Carol Danvers. Carol, De oh, <laughs> um, you see here, and and you know why? You know why this is difficult because I will tell you this: she is not last on my list. <laughs> there, oh man, above Bishop, below Black Panther. Okay. I will tell you there are good Carol Danvers stories out there. There, there been are, one lately. There, there hasn't been one lately, but there are they do exist. No, no, there are good ones, absolutely. Uh Colossus. Colossus. Oh, okay, okay. I got to I I, I got to I got to give some love to my boy Colossus. He's going to go <sighs> He gonna go above Black Widow, below Angel. 
Okay. Uh, Cyclops. Cyclops. Oh, boy. Cyclops going above cable. Hold on. Let me fix my spelling errors here. <laughs> above cable, you said? Yeah, Cyclops number one right now. Do you like Cable so much because he's an anagram of Caleb? Yes. Okay. That's uh, not, Derek... even, not even a question. <laughs> you, no, no, no. I've told, I've told the story. My, my exposure to Cable was MVC2 back in the arcades. And I'm like, hey, that's like my name. And that's that was my introduction to Cable. <laughs> uh, Daredevil. Uh, above Cyclops. Okay. Uh, let's see. Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool is going to go, um, below Captain America. Okay. Uh, Deathlock. Deathlock is going to go, above Colossus, below Angel. Ironically, another character <laughs> that you would who, have cared about. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that's probably you know how you said that you pair characters together. Uh huh. It's prob that's probably why I have Angel and Deathlock together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Okay. <sighs> okay. Doctor Strange is gonna go below Black Widow, above Captain Britain. Okay. Do you want me to shrink this down some, or is this the okay size? Because I know you're having trouble seeing the whole list now. Uh, shrink it down a little bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, dupe. Dupe. <laughs> dupe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, so you don't have to tell me who they are, but if I guess who they are, like, is it an X-Men who can multiply himself? Dupe, the little green floating guy from Ecstatics. Oh, yeah, that guy, that guy. The uh, <laughs> the one the one that James Gunn always said he would put in his X-Men yeah, movie. Yeah, it's like a jelly bean, a floating little yeah. jelly bean guy, a yeah, uh, bean bag. We're going to put Dupe. And this is, I don't know anything about Dupe. This is purely based off of design alone. We're going to put him above. Yeah, we're going to put him above Blade, just based on design alone. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oops. That's about how he talks. Um, <laughs> Drax. Drax. Oh, okay, okay. Drax is going to go. Below Deadpool, above Black Cat. Uh, just so, like ju 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 just so the audience knows, uh, Drax is a better character in the comics. Than oh, definitely, way better. <laughs> totally different character. Yeah. Um, Electra. Oh, okay, okay. This one's gonna be so difficult for me. Okay, um, I gotta put Electra. Above Adam Warlock, below Cable. Uh, Emma Frost. Emma Frost. Um, we're going to put... Mm. We're going to put uh, below Black Panther, above Carol Danvers. Okay, hold on. Let me move all yeah. this up. I am I am not an Emma Frost fan. Just but her general. wear. Uh, above uh, Carol Danvers, below Black Panther. Okay. Uh, the Falcon. The Falcon. Okay. Am I taking into account his Captain America years? Sure. Anything that's in the comic books. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, then I am going to put him above. Above Black Cat, below Drax. Uh, 
I, I actually I actually like his Serpent Society saga. Okay. Uh, Phantom X. <laughs> oh man, Phantom X. Oh god. Oh man. <clears throat> do you, honestly do you want to know what's the hardest part about this? Is yeah. uh <laughs> the hardest part about this is part of me wants to put Phantom X really high, but another part of me is like, am I just doing that to be special? <laughs> like, so, I'll tell you this. I've always said Adam Warlock is my favorite character. He's not even in my top five when I finished this list. And it was really hard for me to keep moving Adam Warlock down the list. Really? Yeah. I, I, I would have I would have figured So like my my I assume that Electra and Cable are not above Adam Warlock. Uh, were Daredevil and Cyclops above Adam Warlock for you? No. Okay. Okay. So we're we're already pretty different. Yeah, we're we're way different. <laughs> <laughs> we're okay. way off. Okay. So F Phantom X, I'm gonna have to put. Uh. Below Electra, above Adam Warlock. Okay. Here's where it's, it's going to get really hard in a little bit because you start splitting up the Fantastic Four, and then you're like, wait, because uh, they don't, you know, if you if you split them up, then how much do you really like that bird, you know? So yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I mean, if you think about it, like the easiest one to split up is Johnny Storm <laughs> because mm -hmm. cause he died. Uh, Flash Thompson, Flash... aka Agent Venom. Ooh, Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson. Uh, go, go down. Um. Above Bishop, below Carol Danvers. <clears throat> Forge. Forge. Um. Below Bishop, above Cannonball. Uh, stupid thing. Below okay. Bishop, you said? Yeah. Okay. You see, your brain's putting them together. I did the same thing. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 did you put Bishop and Forge together? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Franklin Richards. Franklin Richards. Okay, okay. But you haven't read a lot of Fantastic Four. See, this is where yes. this is going to start coming into play, where you're like, wait, yeah. I haven't really... Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, I have to decide because I know how important of a character he is, but I I don't know why. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if I have to put him somewhere, this is Caleb's list. Where does Caleb care about Franklin Richards? At this point, not much. We're gonna put him. You, you know what? We're... Oh no, no, we're not going that low. We're not going that low. Okay. Be because I still have an interest in reading him. Okay. Uh, I, I have no interest in reading Black Bolt. Uh, so we're actually going to put uh, Franklin Richards above Emma Frost. Where is Emma? Uh, below Black Panther. Okay. Franklin. So, strictly because I, I don't know much about him, but I want to know more. Okay. Uh, Gambit. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be somewhere up there. Uh, we're gonna put Gambit. And, and when we finish this episode, we will put this list down in the uh, description. If you want to play this game at home, we'd like to see your list. Yeah. Uh, so I think this is really fun. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Uh, yo, we're putting Gambit. Gambit is gonna be above Electra, below Cable. And part of why I ranked Gambit higher than because I was a big Gambit fan in the '90s, and then I kind of dropped off. But his recent X Men '97 appearance really, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, Gambit's cool. That's right. Well, yeah. well, I mean, like, even I, I'm taking. To, did you ever read Mister and Mrs X? No, I have not read that one. 
Mr. and Mrs. X is not, it, it's okay. It's not that good, but Gambit is phenomenal in it. And mm -hmm. that was, is what really taught me. Oh, okay. So even if the book is bad, Gambit's never bad. Gambit is just never bad. Are you sure? <laughs> I've read one where he was like keeping cats or something. Like he always pet cats. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Gamora. Gamora. Okay. Another character who's so different from her movie counterpart. Yeah. Yo, Gamora's got to go above cable. Really? Okay. I know. Okay. I know. She's so good. Wait, hold on. When you, whenever you say she's different, are you saying that the movie is better than? Uh... No, I like the comic book version better. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Uh, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I guess we'll say Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. Johnny Blaze. Okay, because that that is important. Johnny Blaze is actually lower for me. Johnny Blaze is actually lower on my list. Uh, for those who don't know, Dan Ketch. Mm -hmm. is whatever you know about Ghost Rider from like the cartoons or the or, or the movies or whatever. Well, we can say Dan Ketch. This is, this is the only Ghost Rider on my list. So yeah. I, don't, I don't have multiple ones. Yeah. But no, no. The, I, I am, I'm going to put Johnny Blaze lower just to teach the people a lesson because Johnny Blaze is, he doesn't do anything. Dan Ketch is, the, is Ghost Rider. So we're going to put Johnny Blaze... Uh, above Cannonball, below Forge. Yes, thank you, thank you for <laughs> thank you for clarifying. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just for giggles, where would you put uh, Danny uh, Catch? Danny Ketch. Danny Ketch is going to go pretty high, actually. Um, Danny Ketch is going to go... Um, Danny Ketch is actually going to go above Electra, below Gambit. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Groot. Groot. This is going to make people angry, okay? You wait, wait, do you see my list? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I don't think Groot is interesting by himself. Mm -hmm. Um... We're going to put Groot. Can you go down? Uh, Groot's going to go ab above Dupe, <laughs> below Banshee. Uh, Hank Pym. Hank Pym. Ooh. Um... Hank Pym is going to go above Franklin Richards, below Black Panther. I find that Black Panther is like your divide. And I had that been to me too. I was like, there's like a divide, like where this character represents the bottom of this rank and then the next group. Yeah. So, um, so the, the thing with Black Panther is, um, I think there's only one good Black Panther run, mm -hmm. um, which is Christopher Priest's run, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's really good. It's that good, but that's the only one I can think of. Uh, Havoc. Havoc. Havoc is gonna go. Above Emma Frost, below Franklin Richards. You uh, you probably had Havoc a little bit higher, right? Not really. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Ooh, okay, okay. So Hawkeye is gonna go I'll be curious if any of our characters match the ranks <laughs> by the time we're done. <laughs> Hawkeye's below Daredevil, above Cyclops. Uh, how many people can tell that I'm a big Matt Fraction fan now? <laughs> <laughs> Hercules. Hercules. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay. So here's the here here's an yeah yeah no 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 you you're 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 in the right spot and it's not because that I don't like him. It's because I've never read anything about him, but also mm-hmm. because I have no interest in reading about him. Mm-hmm. Um, my my Hercules is uh, Roy Kent at the end of Thor: Love and Thunder. <laughs> um, I thought you were gonna say Kevin Sorbo. Kevin my Sorbo. Hercules is Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> Um, they are any different. Hercules is gonna. Be, you know what? I'm gonna put Hercules below Black Bolt because, okay. like, at least I know something about Black Bolt. <laughs> All right, here's the tough one. All right, Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, let me ask this: Have you ever read a Howard the Duck story? I have read Howard the Duck when he's a mouse. Okay. So that's uh, the relaunch back in, I guess, the early 2000s. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I've read most of the 70s stuff. Who's below Flash Thompson? Bishop. Howard the Duck is going to go below Johnny Blaze. Howard Ted Duck. Ted Duck. Uh, the Hulk. The Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. This uh, We're talking about Bruce Banner, right? Bruce Banner, The Incredible Hulk. All right. Red Hulk is on the list, by the way, so we'll, we'll get to him later. <laughs> It's tough. I'm telling you, this this is really hard to do. Above. Hold on, I'm going to do something real quick. Uh, Let's see. Is that better? <clears throat> Did we lose Caleb? Wow. I was looking at the other screen. I didn't even know Caleb had disappeared. Uh, hopefully he will reconnect. Uh, so as you can see, we're only about halfway through the list, and it gets really tough. <laughs> I think this is a really fun game to play. We might play this again, uh, again with uh, Ninja Turtles or DC or Star Wars characters. I think Star Wars would be really interesting. Okay, I think Caleb is coming back. It was just such a difficult question. <laughs> I didn't even know you were gone. I'm sitting here talking to you because I'm, I'm looking at the screen. And... Oh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. Where did I say Hulk? I, I said... Um... Hmm. Above, above Doctor Strange, below Black Widow. Above, okay, interesting. Okay, uh, Human Torch. Human Torch. Hmm. Okay, 
So here, 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 here's the thing. This is purely because I have not read a whole lot of Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let's go ahead and put him below. And here, here's the thing. I'm doing this on purpose. This isn't my brain doing it. I'm doing this on purpose. We're going to put him below Frank Richards, but above Havoc. He is a character that I don't know a lot about, but I'd love to know more. Right here, you said? Uh, yep. Shit down. Okay. Or you said below Franklin, right? Yeah, yeah, below Franklin. Okay. Human Torch. And this is Johnny Storm, Human Torch, in case someone's being nitpicky at home. Uh, Iceman. There's, there's another one? Yes. Oh, my God. Iceman. Iceman in the comics? Yes. Mm. Human Torch is an old 1940s character, by the way. First issue of Marvel is him fighting Namor. I'll put Iceman above Havoc, below Human Torch. I keep doing this wrong. You said below Human Torch? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Invisible Woman. Go ahead and put her above Human Torch, below Franklin Richards. Okay. This is on purpose, by the way. This is not my. This is not my my brain doing it. Uh, Iron Fist. Oh, God. Iron Fist is going to go... Below Electra, above Phantom X. Below Electra, above Phantom X. Okay. Iron Man. Above Gamora, below Cyclops. Below Cyclops? Mm-hmm. Uh, Jamie Madrix, the multiple man. Uh, put him below Blink. Blink, okay. And again, you haven't read any stories by him, so I, yeah. I get it. Okay, I, 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 I'm if, trying if, to keep this on one screen. It's it's yo, you're working. Good. You're good. <laughs> All right, uh, Jean Grey. Jean Grey. Jean Grey is gonna go by Cyclops. <laughs> there was a part of me that considered it. Uh, uh, however, here this one might be the first ever hot take. Um. This is going to be a hot take. Below Drax, above Falcon. Below Drax, above Falcon. Jones. Can you repeat that? Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Above Iron Fist, below Elektra. Uh, Jubilee. Hmm. Put her in between. Jubilee. You still there, Caleb? 
You are frozen. Okay, I thought he was just in really deep thought. But he is totally frozen. I wish I could draw like a mustache on him. Like little glasses, a little monocle, a little top hat. That'd be sweet. Maybe a little cane, little devil horns. Caleb, where are you? Well, while I'm waiting on him, let's go ahead. Take you guys. <laughs> Bishop. All right, so Caleb's rebooting. I'm sure we're going to cut this part. All right. I am back. You hear? I'll edit this out. Oh, okay. Dead air, dead air. All right, you back? Yep. Okay. All right. So, and we're back. A <laughs> uh, little, little bit of a technical difficulties and uh, bathroom intermission, but I picked... I got uh, old man bladder, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, uh, bishop, uh, below Bishop, above Forge for Jubilee. All right. Kitty Pride. <sighs> above Drax, below Deadpool. Uh, Luke Cage. Hmm. Uh, I need to do that. 
Hmm. Above Deadpool, below Captain America. Above Deadpool. And that was Luke Cage? Yep. Magic. Magic. Above Above uh is that is that Black Widow and Colossus together? Black Widow, where are you where are you looking at? Black Widow and Hulk? Yes, no. Colossus, Black Widow, Hulk. Yeah. Okay. Uh below Colossus, above Black Widow. Magneto. <laughs> Oh God! Exactly. Uh, this blew up my list. <laughs> I was like, "Dang it!" <laughs> well, because here's the thing. You said this is Marvel heroes, right? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to think of was he heroic or whatever. It's your favorite characters of these of these. This is Caleb's favorite ranking. His favorite characters. But if I think he's less interesting as a hero than as a villain, are we taking that into account or just it's general? it's your list? Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Above Cyclops, below Hawkeye. Mantis. Mantis, Mantis. Uh... I'm just moving names around. Ignore me. Hmm. Below Doctor Strange, above Captain Britain. Moon Knight. And I just skipped like three people. So, okay. Moon Knight, though. <laughs> Moon Knight. Oh, God. Uh... Above Gamora, below Iron Man. Uh, Miles Morales. Uh, Miles Morales is going to go... Uh... Who's above Kitty Pride? Deadpool. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, between Kitty Pride and Deadpool. Mr. Fantastic. <clears throat> Mr. Fantastic is going to go... Um... Below Iron Fist, above Phantom X. Who was that, Mr. Fantastic? Uh, Morph. Morph. Uh, Morph. Largely from Age of Apocalypse and Exiles. So if you haven't read Exiles, you might be... <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to put Morph below Forge, above Ghost Rider. Okay. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan is going to go... We got Moon Knight twice on the list. Do we? Yeah, above Kitty Pride. That's supposed to be Miles Morales. Oh, I'm okay. All right. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, but while we're here, uh, Kamala Khan is going to go above Drax, below Kitty Pride. Okay. Uh, Namor. Your buddy. Your pal. His name means the boy without love. Below Hercules. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, all right. I hate Namor. Nick Fury. <laughs> uh, which one? Classic Nick Fury. Uh, so not Junior. Uh, Hasselhoff, Nick Fury. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> we're going to put him... Uh... <laughs> I can imagine people who have always seen the Avengers movie going, what are they talking about? <laughs> um, Hasselhoff, Nick Fury, honestly... Oh, you know what? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he's more interesting than I than I initially thought. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's put him uh, above Hulk, below Black Widow. Uh, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is going to go... Below Iron Man, above Moon Knight. Our lists are so different. <laughs> North Star. North Star. Is that uh, one of the New Mutants? Alpha Flight. Uh, he joined the X Men for a long time. He flies really fast. He gotcha. Was... Not at all who I thought it was. Uh, we're going to put uh, North Star above Black Bolt, below Multiple Man. I have a question. Is Black Bolt the only uh, inhuman? inhuman on my list? Yeah, I think so. I was going to put Lockjaw on that. I think I forgot. So, yeah, I think he's the only one on the list. Okay. All right, I'm going to blow up your list. Nova. <laughs> oh, man. Nova is going to go. It, it doesn't blow up my list. Nova's going above Hawkeye, below Daredevil. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That this doesn't. Rich Rider, Nova. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Photon, which would be, uh, what's her name? Monica Rambo. Right, right, right. Um, she is going to go. She's going to go right there with uh, between Groot and Dupe. Professor X. Professor X. Professor X. Professor X is going to go in bet- uh, in between Kitty Pride and Miss Morales. Miss Morales, wow, that's what she typed. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> hold on. Miss Marvel in be- in between Kitty Pride and Miss Marvel. <laughs> but you <she>, but <sighs> she typed Miss. Mar- <laughs> yes, Rio Morales is one of my favorite uh, comic book characters. I love Rio Morales. <laughs> Psylocke. 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 Uh, Psylocke is going to go uh, above Captain America, below Adam Warlock. Another character I did not care about until I read. Yep. Uh, Punisher. Punisher. Ooh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And some of these characters, I realized, oh, I like this character more than I thought I did when I started doing my list. I was like, oh. Punisher's going to go in between Captain America and Luke Cage. All right. Uh, Let's see. Quasar. And this is Wendell Vaughn Quasar. Quasar. (sighs) Honestly, ironically, one of my lesser favorite uh, mm-hmm. uh, cosmic characters. We're going to put Quasar below magic. Mm-hmm. 
Where's magic? Uh, very bottom of second. Uh, Rachel Gray. Rachel Gray. Okay, if, if you could help me out with this one, because I get the grays mixed up so much. She is uh, the second phoenix, the daughter of Scott and a gene from the future Cable's sister, question mark. She was part of Excalibur for a long time with Nightcrawler and Kitty Pride and Captain Britain. She later went by the name Prestige. She's also gone by the name Marvel Girl sometimes. Um, Too complicated. Go below. She's she's, <laughs> she's a hound during Avengers versus A versus X. Uh, yeah, that, that's how I feel about Rachel Gray. She's <laughs> too complicated. Oh, you just feel your eyes glazing over. I start talking about uh, Red Hulk. Red Hulk. Okay, uh, Red Hulk. We're gonna put. Uh, below Ghost Rider, above Howard the Duck. Yeah, I think that's about where I put him. Yeah. Uh, Red She-Hulk. Red She-Hulk. Uh, we're going to put Red She-Hulk uh, above Black Bolt, below North Star. Okay. Um, Rick Jones. Mm. Hulk sidekick. He has been the host of Captain Marvel. He was a bomb. He was Captain America sidekick. He was founder of the Avengers. He was. <laughs> he's done everything. Yeah, below Flash Thompson. Below Flash Thompson. Okay. Uh, Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon is going to go. Um... Above Psylocke, below Adam Warlock. Okay. Uh, uh, by, by, the, by the way, I want this to, to you know, take note, people. Uh, in the uh, Rocket Raccoon and Groot buddy cop, one of them is far more interesting than the other one. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, Rogue. Rogue. Hmm. Sorry, this stupid... I'm a, I'm a, this is going to take me a second, so I'm going to let you do your thing. How many more do we have left? There's going to be 100 total, so we've got about 20. Okay. We're getting there. Uh, We're the S's at the Rogue. <clears throat> rogue is... Above Miles Morales, below Deadpool. Okay. Whoops. Above Miles Morales, she said. Yep. Uh, Scarlet Witch. <laughs> oh, man. Scarlet Witch is going to go... Scarlet Witch got to go above Hawkeye, below Nova. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. You know I wrote a whole like song. song. I know you wrote yeah. about I know, I know you got it. <laughs> All right. Uh we broke up a little bit just then. What did you say? Oh, I I said you had a thing for Scarlet Witch. Um, oh, oh yeah, 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 definitely. Uh I, Scott I, Scott Lang is who I said next. Scott Lang. Scott Lang uh is it a hot take that I find him more interesting than Hank Pym? Uh, if you're talking about the comic book version, I'd say so. MCU version, I would agree, but uh, okay, you, you're allowed to say that though. That's your uh, list. Yeah. Well, I was just wondering if it was a hot. Well, my thing is, whenever I think of Hank Pym, I think of um, his uh, his lower points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I am gonna go with Scott Lang is. Below Hulk, above Doctor Strange. 
Hulk. Um, I find Hank Pym fascinating because he's trying to make up for that mistake he made that one time when he was half possessed, and I I think Hank Pym's what you know he he keeps screwing up over and over, and I think he's yeah I think that makes him interesting. Uh, Sentry. 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 So this one, completely based on the fact that I haven't read a whole lot of Sentry, we're mm-hmm. going to put below Ghost Rider above Red Hulk. Okay. Uh, Silver Surfer. Is it funny that like every time you say a character, I kind of know what column to look at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Silver Surfer, we're going to put... Um... Silver Surfer, we're going to put above Adam Warlock. Okay. Oh, uh, She Hulk. She Hulk. She Hulk is going to go. She Hulk is going to go uh, below Drax, above Jean Grey. Speedball. You know Speedball is right. I'm trying to think. He was the one that caused uh, the Civil War. He's the bouncy new war. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Speedball is going to go above Black Bolt, below Red Shield. Okay. I have the first appearance of uh, Speedball. So, just so you know. (laughs) <laughs> I know you were wondering. I have it. Uh, Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. I didn't put Spider Woman on this list. Oh, well. <laughs> she, I mean, at, at this point, Spider Woman is. Um, at this point, Spider Woman is just Madam, uh, a Madam Web character. Oh, yeah. Spider Gwen is going to go above Gam- above Gamora below Moon Knight. Where's Gamora? Okay. Uh Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Peter Parker. The one and only. Uh-huh. I got it. I got to do it. You know, uh, he got to go uh, above Nova, below Spider Man, uh, below Daredevil. All right. All right. It hur- it hurts, but I know I'm. But I I know I I search my feelings, and I know it to be true. Miguel O'Hara, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Ooh ooh. Okay. Uh-huh. You, you know, I think that we can put him uh, below Moon Knight, above Spider Gwen. They're kind of the same. They got they they're very adjacent, but Miguel O'Hara is a little bit more interesting. Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl. We're gonna go ahead and put Squirrel Girl over by Photon and Dupe. Star Lord. Star Lord. Star Lord. Do the joke. Who? Right. Yeah. Who? <laughs> who? Uh, Star Lord. Uh, and this is comics, right? It's very different from the movie version. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put him below. Wow. Hold on. We're gonna put him. <laughs> Below magic, above Quasar. <laughs> Below magic. Where's magic? Uh, Quasar's at the bottom. Of I don't me. know why. I could, I, that was my blind spot. Every time you say someone down down there, I'm like, what? Um, I, 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 
I, as I was reading through the, I was like, okay, let's start at the top just to see how far up it was. Like, no, no, no. no. And then I'm like, I'm like Nova, no. I mean, the movie version's better, and that's basically Nova. No, no. Movie version's better, so that's basically Silver Surfer, Adam Warlock. <laughs> like, yep, yep. <laughs> see what they, what they did is they took all the interesting cosmic characters and put them into Star Lord. <laughs> and uh, yeah, mixed with uh, what's his name, Chris Pratt. Or, yeah, yeah mixed. <laughs> uh storm Ooh, okay storm storm uh-huh. has got to go storm has got to go above spider-man 2099 below moon knight all right the thing the thing um The thing has got to go. Above Black Cat, below Falcon. I'll find him one day, I promise. <laughs> you know, uh, you know what's you know what's interesting? You you ask me, uh Fantastic Four separately. Uh-huh. I, I I find which of the four I find more interesting than the others. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thor. 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 Thor buttocks. Um... Oh, wow. Are there any one of them that like really surprised you on your list? No, no, no. On, on your, like, as you're doing your own list and like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to surprise myself. Thor is above Scarlet Witch below Nova. All right. Yeah. My Thor is up there somewhere. He's, he's what, I mean, he's not that high, but he's, he's up there somewhere. Well, like, uh, like, like I wouldn't think that he is like really <laughs> high up for me. But if I take into account JMS, Jason Aaron, uh, Walt Simonson, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Eddie Brock, Vidim. Oh, Eddie Brock, Eddie. Uh-huh. <sighs> Bro, Eddie Brock got to go above Thor below Nova. Okay. Mine's up there somewhere, too. Uh, vision vision vision's gonna be up there uh yeah vision's gonna go above uh, above hawkeye below scarlet witch above hawkeye uh war machine war machine oh Question: um, mm-hmm. Are we, are whenever you say War Machine, are we Rhodey, right? Yep. Okay. And so I can take into account his time as Iron Man. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. If that is the case, then I'm going to put him uh, above Rocket Raccoon, below Adam Warlock. All right. For those who don't know, Rhodey was War Machine in Secret Wars. Yep. That's true. Oh, no, 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 no. Rod- Rhodey was Iron Man in Secret Wars. Yep. Uh, let's see. Wasp. 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 I'm noticing your first row, first column is starting to look like the lineup tomorrow. I'm just saying. Um, wait, 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 wait. It was, it, <laughs> I, you, we broke up a little bit. The, the lineup to what? The first column was remind me of the line up to Marvel versus Capcom. Just a lot of <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wish. I wish. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Wasp. Wasp is <laughs> Wasp is gonna go um above Rocket Raccoon below War Machine. 
uh let's see winter soldier winter okay winter soldier has got to go winter soldier got to go below vision above hawkeye above vision above hawkeye yeah above hawkeye below vision okay and that was Winter Soldier. Uh, Wolverine. Wolverine. Above Iron Man, but below Cyclops. Just can't get past Cyclops. Uh... <laughs> Wonder Man. Wonder Man. Wonder Bread. Uh, this is another one that I really don't know a whole lot about. Um, but uh, this is a character that I do want to know more about because... Um, hey, do, uh, do we know if that um, um, show is still coming out? I thought it was canceled, but I don't know. Um, regardless, I'm going to put him above Rachel Gray, below Morph. Um, I was kind of excited for that show just because who they got to play Wonder Man. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember who it was? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it was uh, uh, Yabul yeah, Mateen. Uh, he played uh, Manha Dr. Manhattan in uh, HBO. Okay, Watchmen. okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you know this character. X Man, Nate Gray. X Man, or Nate Gray. Yes, I do. Um, he is. We're gonna put him right above Rachel Gray because I kind of they're like the same person to me, and I don't like either of them. Okay. Last one, X-23. X-23. Uh, X-23 is going to go um, above Storm. Ooh. Sorry. You're good? Uh, above Storm, below Moon Knight. Above Storm. Okay. So is there any characters you think I missed? Uh, Any, anybody, Any yeah, anybody that, you sh that I should have listed that I didn't, because I, th I think this is a pretty good list of the top 100. Uh, um, if I had to, like, oh no, we're missing a character. What? Okay, all right, hold on. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the list really quick. Uh, who did I leave off? Adam Warlock, Angel, Banshee, Beast, Bishop, Black Bolt, Black Cat, Black Panther, Black Widow, Blade, Link, Cable, Cannonball, Captain America, Captain Britain, Carol Danvers, Colossus, Cyclops, Daredevil, Deadpool, Deathlock, Doctor Strange, Dupe, Drax, Elektra, Emma Frost, Falcon, Phantom X, Flash Thompson, Forge, Frank, Franklin Richards, Gambit, Gamora, Ghost Rider, Groot, Hake Pym, Havoc, Hawkeye, Hercules, Heart of the Duck, Hulk, Human Torch, Ice Fan. Ice Man, Invisible Woman, Iron Fist, Iron Man, Jamie Maddox, Jean Grey, Jessica Jones, Jubilee, Kitty Pry, Luke Cage, Magic Magneto, Mantis, Miles Morales, Mr. Fantastic, Moon Knight, Morph, Miss Marvel, Namor, Nick Fury, Nightcrawler, North Star, Nova, Photon, Professor X, Psylocke, Punisher, Quasar, Quicksilver. Do we do Quicksilver? No. Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Okay, okay. Quicksilver is going to go... He's going to be lower on the list. Can you get down? Mm-hmm. Uh, Quicksilver is going to go... Um, uh, you know, let's actually put him uh, above thing below Falcon. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I, I think that's a pretty accurate list. I thought about putting Gwenpool and some stupid ones, but I was like, no, they're terrible characters. Uh, I would say, like, really the only major one. Hold on. 
The only major one missing uh, might be Nick Fury Jr. Um, yeah. I don't um, like a lot of recent characters. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. And then... Um, and, right. and, and, and these are just heroes, so like we're not even taking into account villains. Yeah. So your top ten is Daredevil, <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man, Nova, uh-huh. Venom, uh-huh. Thor, Scarlet uh-huh. Witch, Vision... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, Magneto. Can and... I be honest? Can I be honest? I kind of like. I mean, like I'm on board with that. Like <laughs> that, does, that doesn't surprise me at all. Okay, your bottom ten: <clears throat> Dupe, Blade, yep. Blink, Jamie Madrox, Northstar, Red She Hulk, Speedball, Black Bolt, Hercules, and Namor. Yeah, the, the boy without love. All right, so here's <laughs> here's my list. Let's see. The, and, and keep in mind, the majority of those are characters that I know nothing about. All right, so my number one is Venom. Really? Okay, I don't know if you, yeah, you froze up there. Oh, I really like Venom. Yeah. Okay. I just have always loved Venom. Okay. Okay. So our Spider Man's matched. Uh, then uh, Hulk, Hulk at yeah. number three, uh, Wolverine at four. Okay, which I ranked Wolverine higher than I thought, but I was like, yeah, I do love the little <laughs> furball. So, so what what puts Cyclops above Wolverine for me is if I'm comparing the post schism era, Cyclops mm. is is better. Okay, uh, Magneto ranked way higher than I thought he would. Number five, uh, Rogue and Nightcrawler. I argued back and forth about who would go where. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how much I liked that crawler until I started making the list. I was like, dang it. Yeah, he's up there. Adam Warlock got knocked all the way down number eight. Deadpool creeped at number nine. Captain America 10. Uh, let me get Thor, Rick Jones, Nova, Silver Surfer, Spider-Man 29, Flash Thompson, Jamie Madrix. Squirrel Girl, She-Hulk, and then so on. Um, who, who are your bottoms? Yeah, let's see. So my bottom 10, Blade, <laughs> Carol Danvers, Quasar, uh-huh. Quicksilver, Falcon, Miss Marvel, Wonder Man, Red She-Hulk, Scott Lang, and Sentry. So a lot of your bottom 10, uh, so my bottom 10 is a lot of characters that I just don't know and also have no interest in reading. Your uh-huh. bottom 10 are characters that only work when paired with another character. Uh, pretty much. I mean, like Quicksilver's interesting when he's with, with the X Factor, but by himself, he's just a jerk. Quite, yeah. yeah, I'd say so. Carol Danvers, I think, has interesting stories when when she's paired with Rogue. I think is is interesting. The problem with Carol Danvers, uh, uh, the problem with Carol Danvers is her most famous stories are all bad. <laughs> yeah. Um. You'll see my Iron Man's at 85. <laughs> I, I really hate the Avengers. They're all, I mean, other than Captain America and Thor and Hulk, they're all like down here. <laughs> Ironically, and, and here here's the big thing. You're going to notice that you actually like uh, the, the Hulk mythos, and I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm a big Hulk guy. <laughs> uh, you'll notice I have like this cluster of like the second rate X-Men down here. You know, I'm, you know, I'm glad that we agree that Professor X is like not that high up. Like, yeah, yeah. For for me, uh, the X Men stories are most interesting when he's dead. Mm-hmm. I had Black Bolt at 68. Um, I haven't read a lot of Moon Knight. That's why he's so low down there. A lot. So a lot of these I just haven't read. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they get knocked down. Um. I had Ghost Rider 63. Uh, so here you'll see all the Guardians of the Galaxy I've got like in the 50s, like all of them. <laughs> and that's like my favorite series. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, here's the thing. We'd, we'd, I'll go ahead and let you know that we do um, uh, DC characters. Uh Good. Uh, you know what? If we're doing heroes only, then this doesn't work. Because my favorite DC series, I like. I love Suicide Squad. Uh, those characters probably aren't in my top ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, I've got Speedball at thirty three. You've got him like <laughs> down the bottom. <laughs> you got to keep in mind that I hate Civil War. 
Uh, oh yeah. And, and so like I have to put him down there just for the fact that he started it. <laughs> yeah, I've got Blink and Morph at twenty eight, twenty nine. That's because I really like Exiles. Um. I think my highest Fantastic Four members thing, and then Mr. Fantastic. And then Human Torch is down here. Franklin and Invisible Woman. And Namor is by Invisible Woman. <laughs> so I thought this was a fun experiment. Uh, I know some of y'all at home are screaming like, Blade is awesome. Or, you know, uh, let's see who else is down here. Uh, okay, Red Hulk okay. is awesome. Red She Hulk is awesome. Hold on, hold on. In the comments, give me your top five Blade stories in the comics. Exactly. If you think <laughs> that these characters should be ranked higher, then okay. tell me what to read. I want to yeah. like these characters. Yeah. I just haven't read any good stories with them in it. I have not read a whole lot of Red Hulk and Red She Hulk. I don't like Betty being a Red She Hulk. I think it, it robs something from the character. It'd be like if, if Mary Jane was like, you know, a superhero now it, it kind of changes the whole dynamic so well spider island's a thing yeah yeah so i i hate spider island <laughs> <laughs> so those were our lists um i think this was a lot of fun i star wars our list would be very different with star wars i can already tell you that <laughs> yeah well i mean it, it here's the thing um and and one thing that i would argue with star wars especially um we would have to combine both eu and disney canon like like we we would have to put some disney canon characters there just for the fact that like like the most well known characters you know i'm just checking something real quick while you're talking um yeah, I think Spider Man is the only one we have ranked the same on our list. You've got Ghost Rider pretty low. Yeah, but I'm saying uh, on the at the same rank. I think Spider Man oh. is the only one that lines up on our on our <laughs> list. Uh, also, well, also keep in mind that I went specifically with Johnny Blaze uh, because he's the most well known. Uh -huh. uh, if if we were to do Dan Catch, he'd probably be up there somewhere with Moon Knight. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, I, I, I've i never read Midnight Suns, but I'm sure I'd love it because I love all those characters separately. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you have not read the recent Donny Cates Venom stuff, right? No. Okay. So that that may also be recency bias since I you know just read that recently where I'm just like, oh, mm -hmm. Venom's awesome. So. Well, I mean, I still had Venom up at, at four. Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, like Venom is just a, um, like, I I also think I like Lethal Protector most more than most people. Mm -hmm. You gotta uh, understand when I was, when I started reading comic books, Venom was the hot new thing, and Infinity Gauntlet was happening. So you, you can see that I love Venom and Adam Warlock and Thanos, and you know it's a lot of those. Um, stories that really got me hooked when i first started reading comics so you know it's ironic you mm -hmm. know what you know what character is not in any marvel versus capcom game hold on i think i broke up a little bit uh yep. a character that's not in any marvel versus capcom game is daredevil who is my number one and then oh the, yeah and then the rest is marvel versus capcom <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, so we're going to end this episode right there. Uh, again, we'd like to see your list. Um, and if you think that Miss Marvel should be higher on our list, tell us why. Tell us what stories to read. We would we would love to read them. Um, that might be a fun challenge is for each of us to pick one of our bottom characters to go find a story about them to, to read or something. I hate Namor. The boy without love. Wait, hold on, hold on. Bring, bring him up. Where'd you put Namor on the list? Bring that up. Bring that up. Namor? Yeah. Hey, he's higher than you have him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate my Invisible Woman. He was uh, like uh, 41. Ah, yeah, no. <laughs> nah. 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 That boy's got no love. No. Nah. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, we're going to react to some movie trailers. Mm -hmm. uh, Caleb has not seen the latest Wolverine teaser, which I think is a lot of fun. Uh, Wolverine Deadpool teaser. So we're going to check that out and uh, some other cool trailers. So until then, please join us next week, Sundays at 4 Eastern. I've been Final Monkey. And I'm Caleb. We'll catch you next time in the Shark Pond. See ya.